Hi guys, it's Room the Math Person, and today I'll be going over question 309 on SLA exam B. So pause the video real quick and try this problem yourself. Okay, assuming that you tried this problem yourself, let's just dive right in. A city with borders forming a square with sides sides of length one has its city hall located on the origin. When a rectangular coordinate system is imposed in a city, so the two sides of the square are on the positive axis. The density function of the population is given below. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Okay, okay. So the the city looks like this, right? It's length there one, and it's on the positive axis. So it looks like that. And the range is x is greater than zero and y is less than one. So it's definitely this range right here. A resident of the city can travel to the city hall only along a route whose segments are parallel to the city borders. So it can only go this way, or it can only go this way. Um, calculate the expected value of the travel distance to the city hall of a randomly chosen post, um, resident of the city. So again, if I live right here, the only way I can get to the city hall, the city hall is right here at the origin, is I have to either go this way and down, or I can either go this way and down, or I can just to take many, many rows, whatever. But either way, it's the expected value of x plus y. For example, if I lived right here, it's also going to be like a distance of x and then y because everything's parallel you can't go diagonals so the ex so basically the question is asking okay find the expected value of x plus y of this equation okay okay well we know the range is 0 to 1 for both x's and y right because it's a square and the um, probability density function is given as 1.5 x squared plus y squared so we just have to do, put in our expected value in there, and bada boom bada boom. Let's just, I like to do dy dx, I don't know why. Not a habit or anything. We, we can do dx dy too, but it's exactly the same way. I'm going to throw out that 1.5 out, and I'm, gonna, I, I'm actually going to first boil, multiply it out, so it's going to be easier to do, rather than integrating my parts or something like that. So this is going to be x cubed plus x squared y plus y squared x plus y cubed dy dx okay so i'm integrating in respect to x in respect to y so this would just be y this will be x squared y2 y over 2 this would be y cubed over 3 times x plus y fourth over 4 integrating from 0 to 1 dx for the second integral so then this is equal to just um, just plugging y, y for, I mean, 1 for x, or I mean 1 for y, with this, that's going to be equal to x cubed plus x squared over 2 plus x over 3 plus 1 fourth. And then when I plug in 0 for y, it just all becomes 0, so this is our next integration that we're trying to solve. So this is x fourth, 1 fourth, plus x squared, x cubed over 6, plus x squared over 6, plus 1 fourth x, integrating from 0 to 1, Oop, I don't need this right here, right, and then the same thing, I'm going to, I'm actually going to um, change this to 3 halves, it's easier, and this is, if I plug in 1 for x, it's equal to 1 fourth plus 1 6 plus 1 6 plus 1 fourth, and um, if I plug in 0 for um, this is zero, by the way. I don't, I don't know if you guys caught my handwriting, but this will just be minus zero. So, because every term has every term has a zero in it. Okay, okay. So this is equal to three half, um, two two fourth plus two six, right? Or we can just simplify this to one third and this to one half. So this is also equivalent to saying um three six plus two six. Still following. I hope so. Hope so. So this is equal to three half, five six, and I can simplify this down. I can cross cancel. This is um two on the bottom, so this is equal to five four, which is our answer B. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, make sure you comment down below. Otherwise, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye.